so here we go uh, we got the register form and then we uh, we're passing this parameter this request this parameter and so that um, okay and then we also check that if the request method is post I mean while doing registration of course you send some data to the uh, database that you have and then we make sure that the form is validated I mean these all these uh, constraints that we have set right here you know they are all validated so the form is validated then we are going to collect all this information name form dot name dot data so you say it this way the data of the name uh, you know as the, uh, I mean inside a form you are going to uh, uh, initialize it to a variable called name then we have we, we will need these when we are returning the values uh, when we are writing the MySQL query so the next information would be email then form dot email dot data then we have the username form dot uh, username dot data then we got the password and uh, form dot form dot uh, password password dot data so in order to actually write some data inside our table we need to create a cursor a cursor is a method so and that method would be uh, like mysql dot uh, connection dot cursor so this cursor a method and then we it, it, it contains some information right the mysql the uh, the database connectivity codes right here so they all will be uh, collectively they all will be initialized to a variable you can call it as cur so you say cur and then this cur is going to call another method called as uh, execute within this execute we are writing our mysql uh, query you say insert into the name of the table yeah for your information i have actually changed the name of the table to users just because you know um, I, I i recreated this uh table just because you know to make it more understandable because the previous one was like essay publishing so that's why i made it so uh, as user so that it can be easily understandable you can uh, watch the previous videos to actually recreate such a table so we'll say insert into users uh, users okay name then we have the email then we have the uh, the username and we have the password so um, this is going to pass some values values and these values would be uh, they will be sent in the form of a string but string 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 because we're passing four parameters so we are going to write the name of the uh, parameters right here so we're gonna say uh, name we're gonna pass the parameters that we have already uh, created right here so we're gonna say name uh, email username and password so let's close the uh, I think everything is aligned so yeah then uh, in order for this query to actually run we need to commit it you know we need to commit this connection 
So I'm going to say uh, MySQL, MySQL dot connection dot commit. And then cursor, we're going to close our cursor, cursor dot close. Uh, after the registration is done, we are going to uh, give a flash message. You know, flash message is like a, a quick message that that will be disappear you know, within seconds. So you say flash, you are registered. Now you can log in. I want this message to be actually displayed while the registration is done. And this is a success message in the color would be green so gonna go uh, so for this after it is registered it is of course going to uh, I want it to automatically take me to the login page after the registration is done I want it to take me to the login page so I'm gonna say return redirect uh, URL for and uh, we're I'm gonna say login for the, to the login page. So then take me back to the uh, return redirect render template. I mean for the first time you are going to say register.html and then we're passing this form. Okay. So I hope everything is aligned and it's working properly and let's see if things are actually working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before we even actually go and uh, do the registration of, I, 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 uh, we have not created the register page, register.html and we need to create a route. And this is the route of course. So we have not created the register.html. So. I'm going to open a new file. I'm going to save it inside the templates folder. I'm going to name it as register.html. So this is of course going to contain uh, you know the same type of information that we have just created right here. And then uh, because this is also going to be uh, we're going to use these uh, you know templates right here. So for the register uh for the registration i am going to use a type of register right here that is called as okay it is going to be uh h5 i'm gonna say a register registration page and this is going to be a form and this form will have a method and the method would be post the action will leave it blank so I'm going to use a bootstrap class as div class uh, form form group this is a bootstrap class and I'm gonna end my div so right here I'm gonna say render underscore field uh, form dot name the class would be underscore equals to okay form control so this form control it is a bootstrap class and render field f i e l e comes from the uh, Jinja class so I'm going to copy this four times, two, three, and four. Let's make some, uh, some changes. Okay, it's going to accept the name. This is for the uh, uh, email this for the username and password in a then we will have a uh, we'll put a button and say put it in input button input 
type type submit and I want the value to be S I G N U P sign up. Okay. So we have the form right here. Let's see if, if 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 things work properly. I hope we get the same page right here. Oh yeah, in the nav bar, in the nav bar, we need to uh, inside the nav bar, we need to create a, a route for our. Uh, let's actually uh, get rid of all these. Uh, I don't want these to be here, so gonna copy this one more time I'm gonna paste it right here uh, let's put it as register and it is going to the register route so we got the register route here let's click on this okay the render field is Is undefined. Okay, let's find this. Uh, actually, this render field it is coming from a class uh, called as Jinja class. Uh, we'd open this uh, WT forms. Let's open this WT forms documentation. We got all the documentation right here. So, and let's see how to actually uh, deal with the uh, because at the, at the beginning I said like we are going to be dealing with a special type of form which is called as the WT forms. This is associated with the Python and then uh, okay, 